Welcome to part 10 of the series on business process automation. This time we talk about Wopet, the workflow Petrinet designer. Petrinets are the basis of most modern business process management systems. We use Wopet to introduce Petrinets and will later simulate business processes with it. Wopet is a great open source tool developed by my colleague Thomas Freitag. Its main use so far has been in the academic field. In my opinion, its most interesting feature for practitioners is business process simulation. Where can you use business process simulation in practice? Let's assume for a moment you want to open a hairdressing salon in a busy shopping mall. In order to pay the expensive rent, you need to serve 100 customers every day. How many employees will you need to hire? Wopet can help you answer this question. All you need to do is model the business process and the organization. It's all very simple, but nevertheless can go a long way. There are tools out there like the Enterprise Architect or the Aris toolset with advanced simulation features. In Aris, for example, you can model that workers will take a one-hour lunch break or that products will have to cool down before the next processing step and many more details. Especially if you are new in the field of simulation, Woped may be a good starting point. You can later switch to more advanced solutions when you know exactly what your needs are. In this and the next videos, we will cover the following topics. We will install Woped and show the Woped interface. We'll show how to model business processes with Woped and demonstrate the simulation capabilities of Woped. Last but not least, we will improve business processes using Woped. So let's go to the computer and dig right into it. Let's quickly go through the steps necessary to install Wopet. First, you need to download a Java runtime environment or a Java development kit if you don't already have one. And so you can find it here, for example, for your operating system. Next, you have to set the environment variable java home so in windows for example you go to settings and you search for environment and you go to edit environment variables for this account and here, for example, I have installed the Java development kit under C Java JDK 16. And the variable Java home has to point to that directory. So that's for the environment variable. And next, you can go to the Woped page download section and then download it for your operating system. After it's downloaded successfully, you can start Wopet and it comes up like this. So this is version 3.8 here. And there is in this menu here an uh, options and help section and we want to open one of the sample nets that are delivered with Wopet and in this case it's the vending machine. And so here you can see a Petri net 
the petri-net of a vending machine and we have places that are round circles here and we have transitions, squares and we have connections between them. And the petri-net rule how to change the state here is that we need to have sufficient tokens, the tokens are denoted by these black dots here inside the places, in order to fire. So if we want to play with this vending machine inside Woped, we can go to the Analyze section and start the token game. And now the activated tokens are green and so for example in this vending machine when the water is cold and it's ready to go we can either insert a coin or brew the water. So let's brew the water and afterwards the water is hot. Then we insert a coin and then the coin can be rejected insert another coin and this one is accepted and now the machine is ready to dispense coffee. So we go back and then we can insert a coin it is accepted we brew and then we dispense and so on and so forth. So that's basically how Petrinets work. We close the token game. If we want to look at the transitions, we can double click them and then we get a menu for the transition properties where we can select many things, but we'll come to that later in another video. So that's all for now. Woped and Petrinets can be used to model security critical technical systems and automatically prove safety features. But that's a completely different topic. We will use Woped to model and simulate business processes in the next videos. See you then.